Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover, from a special screening of the upcoming Elvis film in London, where Eminem's upcoming single The King and I was played live on the red carpet that sparked reactions online, and we'll get to more on this in a bit. We also have more from rapper Mickey Facts, and recently we covered a story about his tweet on Eminem slander, and would you believe it, now he's getting attacked for that Eminem tweet? It's quite concerning and hilarious at the same time, as you'll see in a bit. We also have more from Dina Ray, who called for Eminem to speak up for change in regards to payout for artists on streaming platforms and she recently shared a video explaining her position more on this later so we'll start with Eminem's upcoming single, The King and I, featuring CeeLo Green and produced by Dr. Dre. And Warner Brothers live-streamed the Elvis UK special screening on this platform. And it included this segment at the 20-minute mark, where you can hear the new single. And this has sparked reactions accordingly as fans have started transcribing lyrics from the song on social media. For instance, check this out as you can hear from the clip Top 5 since I discovered Peroxide Yeah, since I got signed, I went from Popeyes to Jack and the Bean, I'm watching my stock rise. Just wordplay on events since he dyed his hair blonde, it's been up a la Jack and the Beanstalk. And once again, a majority of the discussion is centered on his voice on this. I can't nail down the voice, it sounds familiar. I don't know it sounds like a certain era, but I just can't narrow it down. To which a user response reminds me of 09 Eminem without the accents. Fans have been all over the place with this. I've seen the Eminem show, Encore, Recovery, and Relapse as the era his voice sounds like. Like I said, all over the place so far. And back on topic, some believe it's time as this was addressed at Paul Rosenberg. Hey at Rosenberg, everyone has now heard The King and I at the Cannes Film Festival premiere that's on YouTube on the official Warner Brothers site. Yo, it's time to drop it on streaming before it gets too old, grimacing emoji. Perhaps on Friday, perhaps they even got a music video planned, and if this goes the same way Venom did, expect this on Eminem's upcoming album. Overall, many are loving it on Twitter, just heard the extended snippet of The King and I and hot damn, these beat and the Eminem flow and sound is so dope, love it. But what do you guys think? Moving on to the next point at hand, in the last video we explored Dino Ray take on streaming numbers on Pandora and Spotify, how it doesn't match the payout, and she recently shared a video to explain her position, including how Eminem could help, she states on IG. My response to the video ET posted earlier today about me, Eminem, Spotify. What's up, this is Dina Ray, not Skylar Gray, okay? No. Speaking on the post about the Eminem records that I sang on, these streaming platforms were negotiated before streaming and the internet was relevant, okay? It's time to go back and revisit Washington DC and renegotiate our percentages of Spotify, Pandora, Sirius. Everything needs to be renegotiated because everything is completely relevant on a different scale in 2022. And that's the only point I was trying to make on my comments. And if you're a writer, artist, publisher, then you understand what I'm saying. All right? Now, if M wants to get involved and pull his shit and actually get active and help us, you know, get our just do, awesome. But it's gonna take some huge relevant artists to pull their content from these streams for us to get heard. That's the reality of what's going on. If you wanna talk about it, Hit me up, let's go. But what do you guys think? In response, some are asking Dino Ray, can't you reach out for this bald head Paul or Marshall? If you really get no money, then it's a disgrace. If I'd be in Eminem's position, I'd give you like a quarter million. I mean, you even helped D12, so he should acknowledge it. To which Dino Ray responds, appreciate the love. Unfortunately, there's a lot of politics, so the more noise we make, the better. It's gonna be tough, that's for sure. If history is any indication of how this would go, these platforms would end up transferring the cost to listeners as usual. And moving on, recently when Game spoke about Eminem, around the time Mickey Facts also shared this about Eminem. Eminem's slander been increasing lately. This era is so wild, B. Well, in that video, we covered how this was met with even more Eminem slander, but more was on the way as Mickey Fax is now on the fire for tweeting about the Eminem situation. They are piling on him right now, he had to share this. Welp, time to mute the Eminem tweet 
LOL, they gotta talk to themselves now. And that's because he's been met with takes like, you can't name three public in brackets club bar outside places that isn't predominantly white that plays Eminem's music. They don't even play his music in Detroit. And to that tweet, Mickey was getting some hands in response. The way the user checked Mickey facts on his trashy bomb music from Eminem proves these blue tech blacks lack influence and seek white validation. Seeing the reception he's received so far, he tweeted, them hoteps mad at that Eminem tweet, laughing emoji, gotta love the internet. Here's how that's defined by some on Urban Dictionary, for those who don't know, and check this out, now he's been called a traitor. Imagine crapping on your own people for Eminem of all people. Some of you will turn to traitors for one single Benjamin. Now remember, all this started when he tweeted about Eminem slander increasing, and now he's a traitor for that tweet, and he expanded later, wow, I truly think everybody is crazy. I seriously can't believe people thought a tweet saying Eminem slander is high was me defending M. I made a statement and people can't read. I defended myself and my musical tastes. All these years, all we've heard about is how it's Eminem fans that are crazy, but Mickey's been branded a traitor to his own people for a mild tweet that's actually based. The Eminem slander has been on a steady increase. We've covered multiple cases on this channel, even from legacy hip hop media. But over to you guys, share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoy content like this, and see you on the next one.